welcome back guys to another video. This is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes and in today's video, we're gonna be looking for at this market report for the city of Hayward from this year, October 2020 and comparing it to October 2019 last year. So right now it's the craziest, craziest time to get your offer accepted. If you are in the market or you have jumped in the market after some time, you know what I'm talking about. Second, it's probably the best time to refinance your mortgage and possibly buy a home as far as the interest rates are concerned. They're at all record, all time lows. And right now there's been the 12th change since the interest rate started to decline from the beginning of the year. So let's get on the board real quick to understand what's happening in the market and make some speculations of what to expect moving forward into the winter months. So the first metric we have is number sold. So uh, if you compared October 20 to October 19, uh, 81 units have sold this uh, year to date this year compared to 76 uh, last year. Uh, usually what you start to see uh, in October and, and December, you start to see a little bit of decline um, in activity, uh, less people putting their homes on the market. But this year, you're not going to see that. You're going to see the summer months continue into the spring and winter months because people were really shying away from home, selling their home due to the COVID-19 or not, a lot of them are understanding how crazy and high, hyper competitive the market is right now and they're coming back on the market and listing their homes. So you're gonna to continue to see that the winter months compared to the winter months last year, you're gonna have more inventory sold. Uh, average sales price, uh, if you see last year, 757,000, this year, 830,000. Again, that's a direct connection to the inventory problem that we're having, just not homes, not, not enough homes on the market and just too many buyers out there. A lot of buyers are overbidding or giving more money above asking price to get their offer noticed, in some cases getting their offers accepted. That's why you see a 10% increase uh, in the average sales price. Moving forward, days on market, that stands for uh, when, when, uh, when you list your house, when you list it on the market and when it sells, that's what's considered days on market. 37 last year, this year 25. Uh, there, you, there again, you see a lot of buyers are coming in with aggressive offers. In some cases, no contingencies at all. Loans are closing a lot faster. That's why you see a decline there in days on market. List price versus sales price last year. At the same time, if you listed your house for $100, you probably got $100 for it. This year, if you're listing it for $100, you're getting almost four, four and a half, five percent higher than what you're listing it for. Year to date sold. Last year you had 856 units sold. This year you had 664. Again, I want to emphasize this is a single family detached uh, home report for the month of October and does not include townhomes and condos. So um, you see right here a 200 uh, unit differential. Again, direct connection to COVID-19 in the months of March, April, and May, you practically had, uh, you had very, very low activity. That's why we have some catching up to do. Interesting fact here though, is that uh, in the city of Hayward, uh, the high the high price point is considered a 900k and one one point one, uh, 900k and one million is considered a high price point here in Hayward. Um, last year at this time, um, in this number, you had about 27 units sold in that price point. This year, you already have 50. So what I believe is happening is a lot of people that are getting overbid in other areas. Um, because the, the overbidding is happening more in the price points that are uh, more affordable for people. So in the lower price point, there are more buyers. So a lot of people that are uh, buying in cities like Fremont, uh, Fremont, Union City, Newark, Milpitas, or the other side of the bay where you have, you know, San Mateo, Redwood City, Millbrae, um, when when in their in those cities, a lot of the 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 lower price points in those cities start at nine hundred thousand. So they're getting overbid in those areas. So they're coming to areas like Hayward where in the higher price points, there's not so much competition. So that's why you see that in that price point, uh, a lot more inventory being sold this year. So a key takeaway today, first of all, it's a crazy interest market, interest rate market. So if you're in the market right now and you wanted to go purchase something, if you had about a 750 credit score and you were, can do 10% down, you're probably gonna get a 2.75 or maybe even a 2.875% rate for a 30 year fixed mortgage. Again, guys, this is time sensitive information. If you're watching this from two months from now, it may, it may not apply or may still apply. We don't know, but it's a crazy market when it comes to, uh, crazy market in a good way when it comes to the interest rate, crazy market in a bad way when it comes to buying because you can't get your offer accepted. Second, you're not gonna see a slowdown in the winter months uh, in the real estate market. It's gonna continue to rise. Hopefully we can match the 
uh, inventory demand, match the inventory with the demand and sort of level out the pricing. But if it doesn't happen, you're gonna continue to see average price points rise um, and days on market are probably gonna shorten, but you're gonna see price points go up and a lot of uh, bidding happening. So for the people of you that are watching that wanna come to the city of Hayward and explore, uh, let me give you guys some price points. So if you're looking to buy a three bedroom house um, in the city of Hayward, you wanna mentally prepare yourself that a starting point to start for a three bedroom house is 700,000. Now you may be looking on Trulia and Zillow, you might be saying, you know what, I'm seeing things that are 650, 630, what are you talking about? A lot of those homes are probably just listed to attract buyers so they can have more foot traffic. And in some cases, a lot of those homes might not be in the best neighborhoods or they might be fixer uppers. So if you're looking for a decent neighborhood, not a fixer upper, you wanna prepare yourself for the 700,000 price point, which used to be hovering around 650 about five, six months ago or prior to COVID. Now that's not the case. It, it, this has just changed in the last four months. So if you're looking for a three bedroom house, the range you wanna um, prepare yourself for is 700,000 to 800, 800 to 820,000. If you're looking for a four bedroom home, anywhere from 800,000 to all the way up to 950 is gonna be your price point right now in the city of Hayward. If you're looking for a two bedroom condo, you can probably get a nice, decent two bedroom condo around 465, 460,000. And then your higher end condo is around 520, $530,000. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. My recommendation to you is if you're in the market, go out there and explore. Don't shy away from all this craziness and think like you're not gonna get a deal, hit the pavement. It's a numbers game. The more homes you see, the, the higher your chances of your offer being accepted. I hope this video was very insightful to you. Please don't forget to share, like, and comment because I love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes.